Hey guys, today I am here with the July 2019 Keto Crate. So let's just get into it, literally and figuratively. Paperwork. Oh my gosh, the first thing I see is a Keto Bar. This is their new packaging. It is the dark chocolate coconut almond. One bar is 230 calories, 20 grams of fat, 15 grams total carbs, three grams net carbs, and six grams of protein. Uh, these are one of my favorite snack bars. To be honest, not because they're the best tasting, but because you get the most taste for the cleanest ingredients, okay? We all know how it goes. The dirtier something is, the more sugar-like the sweetener they can use, it's better tasting, but it's not as good for you. Whereas you have stuff like this that is just sweet enough, that is delicious, that has ingredients that you can feel proud about. So I'm excited to try one of these, although, I already have a box of 10 of the, I think the chocolate peanut butter. Cause if you remember my video from KetoCon, uh, they were giving these away. If you got a temporary tattoo on your face, you got a box of 10 Keto bars, done. <gasps> Yay, Nush cake. Oh my God, we got some winners uh, this month. Um, I also got a Nush t-shirt at <laughs> KetoCon. There was swag on a million, I tell you. This is the blueberry cake. I love Nush cakes. They are delicious. I think they're a really unique product. Like they give you that snack cake sort of feel and they have a bunch of different flavors. Uh, this cake is 160 calories, 12 grams of fat, 18 grams total carbs. That's a splurge. One gram net carb, there are 11 grams of sugar alcohol in here, so that says something. Uh, five grams of protein. I know a lot of people like to put maybe a cream cheese frosting or something on top of this. They have lots of different flavors. Carrot, coconut, blueberry, some other stuff, like a walnut, I don't know. But either way, these are good and this is a snack that I will definitely be having as an occasional treat. Oh God, you guys. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I got, oh no, my hand, something's leaking. Ooh, this is my least favorite thing ever. Like when something leaks and things are just like, ooh, ooh, I'm having a moment, I'm having a moment. Okay, I'm gonna hold this. This is a packet full of pickle juice? Pickle ice, wow. Flavored freeze pop, wow. This is a pickle juice flavored popsicle. Are you serious? You can have it frozen or unfrozen. Yeah, in that case, it is just pickled juice. Wow. No calories, one gram of carbs, no protein. This is the oddest thing I have ever seen in my entire life. I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna try this. Uh, maybe I'll add it to a recipe or something, but that is just so odd. Okay guys, I gotta see what is leaking in here. Ooh, oh. is, it, is it this Keto Fit chocolate bar? I don't know. No, mm, I don't know. Yikes. Okay, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to power through. <laughs> uh, this is a Keto Fit chocolate bar, macro balance for a ketogenic lifestyle. Okay, made with MCT oil and collagen. That could very well be the culprit. You see, MCT oil brings nothing but sadness to my life. I think I've tried one of these before, but it's been so long that I really don't remember if I liked it. So I'm looking forward to trying it. One bar is 25 grams of fat. 13 total carbs and 10 fiber, so that's three net carbs, but there's also just straight up two grams of sugar in this thing as well, and 12 grams of protein. I'm really trying to figure out if this is where it's coming from, like, I'm done. Oh, we got Smart Cakes. I mean, this is, just, in my opinion, this is like, I guess one of the biggest name brand keto crates that they had. Like, all these brands are pretty recognizable here. Um, this is their Cinnamon Kind, which is one of my favorites. I love Smart Cakes because they uh, are delicious and airy and really flavorful. I will say that after a while, the texture starts to get to you. Like it's really springy. Like if you put it up to your ear, you can hear a smart cake squeak. And like, that's a weird sensation, but it tastes good nonetheless. But like one time I had these and I was like, oh my God, I love these. These are so good. That like I literally ordered 36 boxes of them. And like after the seventh one, I was like, you know what? I can't do this anymore. So I'm glad to have one of these. <laughs> I'll be having it as an occasional treat. Now the good thing about these is that they're essentially zero net carbs. So for one cake, that means there's two in a package. There's 38 calories, two and a half grams of fat, nine total carbs, and five of those are fiber and four of those are erythritol. So yeah, like zero net carbs. 
and then four grams of protein per bar. Uh-oh, we have the no better cookie. You know what blood glucose test is coming next? Tayo, um, I mean, it's unfortunate and it was years ago, but it is just a shame that I cannot think of the brand no cookie without thinking of that big chocolate chip sugar debacle from like a few years ago. Uh, if you don't know, and I'm not gonna get into it cause you know, I, I feel like everyone deserves to like improve and get better, um, but apparently, and their keto chocolate chip cookies, cookies that they were targeting toward the low carb diabetic community, they were using keto ingredients for the cookie, but then just regular old chocolate chips for the chocolate chips, like sugar made chocolate chips. Um, but of course they weren't including that in the nutrition and it was causing adverse effects for people that were just downing these cookies uh, with all the sugar in it. Since then they've reformulated their chocolate chip recipe. They use allulose now, which still appears as sugar on the label, but they say has minimal impact on your blood sugar. I'll be the judge of that. Okay, so for this cookie, there's 16 grams of fat, 26 grams of total carbs, God, that's a lot, uh, five fiber, 19 sugars, but that's the allulose. Okay, so according to the package, there are three net carbs in this cookie. You can't calculate that from the nutrition label, like because you don't know how much of the sugar is allulose and how much of it is just like other sugar ingredients. So it says right here, three net carbs, but you know, that's another thing. I don't, I don't wanna have to depend on the company to tell me how many net carbs are in something. I wanna be able to figure it out from the nutrition label, but like regardless, I'm gonna eat this and I'm gonna make a video about it so we can see what all the hype is about. Oh my gosh, Keto Farms. You guys, this is just like Keto Crate, the best of KetoCon 2019. And this is like a keto snack mix where they only have three things. They have nuts, cheese, and fruit. And this one is strawberry, gouda, and almonds and pecans. Like, I'm not a big fan of dried fruit. I love fresh fruit, but they were giving out samples of these things and I was a trying them. And these are really good. I am very excited to have a little snack pack of Keto Farms. Front porch pecans. All right guys, comment down below right now. Team pecan, team pecan. Let me know right now. I don't even know how you're gonna like, <laughs> I don't even know how you're gonna differentiate that because like you spell it the exact same. Maybe like, I don't know, put a dash if it's pecan. I don't know, but like, I say pecan, as you can hear. Uh, these are just pecans and I'm uh, really excited about that. Sea salt, all natural roasted, I mean, these are just high quality nuts. I'm never not gonna want these. Oh my God, there are four servings per container. I would smash this entire thing in one sitting. <laughs> uh, per serving, there's 210 calories, 22 grams of fat, four total carbs, three of those are fiber, and two protein. So that's one net carb. I'm excited about front porch pecans. We got a meat stick. We have a Tomer Kosher Original Beef Stick. So y'all know I'm not eating this because the only way I eat meat sticks is if they trick me into saying that it's spicy enough for me to actually try and think that I like it. Spoiler alert, I never like it. So this is going part of the Great Meat Stick Away and we are coming up on that, you guys. Like I said, we're doing the Great Meat Stick Away at 25K. I just checked today and I just passed 24,000 subscribers. Like. Don't get me started, I'm gonna freak out. But like, thank you so much. So like, we only got a little bit of time before it's time to give away all these meat sticks. I hope you're excited. I'm excited to get rid of them. <laughs> I mean, maybe it was the MCT bar. Like, okay, you guys, normally I love bars, but like, whichever, not whichever one is responsible for all of this leakage. Either way, we have the MCT bar caramel and sea salt. Also, are your team caramel or caramel? Like, you know guys, words, you know, English. So this is the MCT bar, caramel sea salt, caramel sea salt, uh, two grams of net carbs per bar, five grams of MCT, 10 grams of protein. So for this whole bar, there are 19 grams of fat, 11 total carbs, nine of those are fiber, no sugar alcohols, and 10 grams of protein. So that's only 11 grams total carbs, not too bad, uh, two grams of net carbs. All right, last but not least, we have kale chips. This is exciting. I like kale and I like chips. So uh, combining those two things uh, will probably be good. Also, the flavor is macho nacho. So, I mean, I'm intrigued. Pure organic plant-based snacking rawesomeness. Oh gosh. Guys, you know I love when two words can be combined. So that's raw and awesomeness. Rawesomeness. Yep, yeah, okay. I love these people already. This is Raw Food Central. That is pretty dope. Let's look at these nutrition facts. 
Okay, so there are two servings per container, and per each serving, there are 90 calories, five grams of fat, eight total carbs, three grams of fiber, so that's five net carbs per serving, so they are kind of carby, and then four grams of protein. You guys, I'm not one to read copy, but I just saw warning, don't be a meathead. And I was like, okay, what's this about? A small biodegradable packet that removes humidity and keeps this product fresh is in the bag. Don't eat it. Yep, our lawyers made us mention that. <laughs> That's kind of funny to me. I look forward to giving these a try. Okay guys, that is it. Overall, I am very pleased with this month's Keto Crate. I kind of feel like it was like a Keto Crate All-Stars, like some really big brand names in there that I've definitely tried before and I look forward to trying again. Okay, what product would you be most excited to try or have you tried from this month's Keto Crate? Comment down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly Keto Crate unboxings, and the occasional product review and recipe. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks, and I'll see you next month.